Why stomach does not digest itself? The digestive system and its parts. Where actually the food is digested? Is it only in stomach? No. It starts from the mouth to intestine. Mouth, where the food is digested mechanically, chewing, and chemically, salivary enzymes. Saliva produced by these glands contains an enzyme called tylen that begins to digest the starch from food into smaller molecules, maltose. Another enzyme called lipase is produced by the cells in the tongue that break down fat components in food. Masticated food by teeth is called bolus and is moved into the esophagus by swallowing. The esophagus transfers food from the mouth to the stomach through peristaltic movement. This movement is unidirectional. These are the parts of stomach. Stomach where a large part of digestion occurs. It is a sac-like organ, secretes gastric digestive juices. The pH in the stomach is between 1.5 and 2.5. This highly acidic environment is required for the chemical breakdown of food and the extraction of nutrients. Protein digestion is mediated in the stomach chamber by an enzyme called pepsin, which is secreted by the chief cells in the stomach in an inactive form called pepsinogen. Another cell type, parietal cells, secrete hydrogen and chloride ions, which combine in the lumen to form hydrochloric acid and this helps to convert the inactive pepsinogen to pepsin. Chemical digestion is facilitated by the churning action of the stomach. The partially digested food and gastric juice mixture is called chyme and this passes from the stomach to the small intestine. Small intestine where the digestion of protein, fats, and carbohydrates are completed by the enzymes released by liver, gallbladder and pancreas. The villi and microvilli on the surface of the intestine absorbs nutrients into the blood from the digested food. Large intestine reabsorbs water from the remaining food material and compacts the waste to eliminate from the body by way of the rectum and the anus. It is now clear that where actually the food is digested, most part of the food has to be digested in stomach. This is due the secretion of hydrochloric acid from the glands present in stomach wall and the burning sensation is also because of HCL. Acid in stomach has the capacity to digest even a copper coin or an iron nail. When it has the capacity to digest copper, iron, and all food stuff including heavy fats, meat, pizzas etc. Why not it is digesting its own tissue? After all stomach is also a meat. Acid is secreted by the glands that are studded right in the stomach wall. Now the question raises in mind that How does the acid go through the mucus without dissolving the stomach wall? What stops the acid from coming back again? Now first we look over how does the acid go through the mucus without dissolving the stomach wall? 
Stomach surface is made up of glycoprotein molecules, which contain carbohydrate and protein chains. These basic units are put together to make a quartet assembly that weighs about million times that of a hydrogen molecule. The assembly itself is like a highly expanded ball that traps a lot of water within. They are packed in a tight fashion forms gastric mucosal gel. The acid secreted by the gastric gland penetrates through the mucosal gel as a narrow fingers. This viscous fingering flow is a thin lines of seepage. The actual area of contact between the acid and the mucus is cut down to minimum. So it is not possible for the acid to digest the whey from the glands to lumen of gut and even HCl is secreted as hydrogen and chloride ions and when both combines in lumen forms HCl. Next question is what stops the acid from coming back again? High density, imperment mucosal gel lining the wall releases antacid bicarbonate ions. These ions are trapped in mucosal gel and establish a gradual change of activity, pH gradient ranging from highly acidic in the gut to neutral at the cell surface. This acidity gradient is an excellent strategy which sets up a one-way acid flow. This gastric mucosal gel does not let large molecules like enzymes to penetrate and diffuse freely within. This high-density packing reduces any turbulence and allows a stable gradient of acid at the surface of the stomach. The acid seems to be pumped through the gel by means of muscle contraction near the glands, which lets it go across a half millimeter thick layer of the mucus. Pumping pressure passes a zone as a wave does, the viscous gel closes back and impedes any backflow. In a precise way we try to understand why stomach won't digest itself. The parasympathetic nervous system, via the vagus nerve, and the hormone gastrin stimulate the parietal cell to produce gastric acid. The flow of acid is in one way as a viscous fingering across the mucosal gel from the gastric glands to the gut. The surface of the gastric epithelium releases antacid, which gives protection to the wall. The enzymes are produced in an inactive form, as zymogens. It passes the mucus barrier lining the stomach, and reach the stomach properly then the enzymes are activated by other secretions and then they can begin digestion of the food in the stomach. When mucus fails to protect the stomach lining, every two weeks, the human stomach produces a new layer of mucus lining. When that mucus fails to protect the outer layer of the stomach, it begins to digest itself and results in what you are familiar with so-called ulcers. Causes of ulcers Use of painkillers and other drugs like aspirin, naproxen, and ibuprofen without doctor's advice. Genetic defect of producing excess acid Avoid stress smoking, alcohol, and spicy foods. Poor lifestyle habits including overindulging in rich and fatty foods, caffeine, and tobacco. Don't stress your mucosal gel, 
it protect your stomach from digesting itself in turn you to protect it. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe, like, share and comment.